everybody. So as you know, there's a 30 second delay for me and John to realise whether you're here or not. So if you can start just pressing your likes and your loves, loves is really good. <laughs> so today I am going to make you a cupcake window box with nifty nozzles. Have I ever made one before? Nope. Why did I say I'd make one? No idea. So I've run around like a lunatic to uh, home base, B&Q, anywhere I can go. And this is what I've created this afternoon. Never made one before. So what do we think, guys? And as you know, John never comments anything because he has to wait for his 30 second delay. <laughs> so hopefully shortly he's going to start telling me that you are here. So who have we got, John? We do. We've got 51 people. 51 people. We've got Rianne Evans. We've got Wendy Lyther. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Rianne. We've got... Love it that you're here every week. We've got Carol, Jenny, Rianne, Karina, Teresa. Oh, all our ladies. Good. Hello, ladies. So what do you think of this, then? This is what I've made this afternoon. I've never made one before. And um, I was trying to think of something different because everybody does these big window... Um, bouquet boxes and um, I can't do them if I'm really honest. Our Laura can do them but every time I put my cupcakes in they fall out. So um, last week quite impulsively I just said to you guys next week I'm going to do a window box and then I spent all week wondering how I'm going to get a chance to do it. So off I trot to uh, home base this week and B&Q and I've picked up this lovely plastic tub there you go, with a base as well to make it look more authentic. Then I've been into Hobbycraft and I bought tissue paper. This is my theme for this one, yellow, green and yellow. Bought myself a ribbon to go on it. And the nozzles that we're using today, if John just has a look, we're going to use the Romance Rose. This is what I've used in this bouquet. So in this bouquet, I've used the Romance Rose, and I'll just get, this is a Romance Rose, and I'll just get John to show you the centre. So John, if you just pop back up again. So the centre is the Romance Rose. And then, as you know, I've used the 104 Wilton, okay, to make the petals. And then I use my favourite leaf nozzle to make these lovely leaves. And can you see I've two-toned them? So I've done them with a bit of green and a bit of lemon. Yeah. And then I've used the leaf nozzle up here today. So, John, if you just want to pop up here. So I've used the leaf nozzle up here, okay, just to make this flower. It, do you know what? I don't, it's not even a flower, really. I've made it one. So we've used this one. And then I have used the... Can you see that, John? I've used the 1M Wilton to make this rose. And again, when you finish the rose, I'm going to show you afterwards, you get this little untidy bit. So I've filled it in with some leaves. And this nozzle here is the crocus. And I've two-toned it for you. So I've done lemon and white. So roses, crocus. There's another rose up there. And then this nozzle here, I'm going to show you. I've used the Wilton 1M, okay, just to make this little pattern here. It's so easy. So it's a great filling flower. And what do you think of my little uh, things? I saw these in home base today while I was at the checkout. These were, were, were sat there and I thought, ooh, they'll look really nice. So um, I quite like them. And I think this display would actually be fantastic as a table setting. So if you've got people coming round for the afternoon or if you've got a wedding to do, you could do it as your central um, display. Something really nice and everybody just help themselves. So I'm just going to turn around the back so that you can see all sides. I've used the night jasmine here, this nozzle. And this is the night jasmine. So I've used that one there. Just hold. Just hold. I go far too fast for you guys. So are you loving it so far? Who wants to learn how to make one? Are you all going to stay with me? It's going to be a long session. John's arms are going to be killing him. <laughs> so John, can we see any loves? Yeah. yeah. Loves and coming. likes. They are coming through. This is what we like. So, sorry, I just need to spin it slow because I forget that it starts to blur. So I'll just take it round slowly. 
There you go. So I'm not going to make this exact one. I'm going to make a smaller one for you guys. So let's, here we go. Oh yes, and the two colours that I use today, just in this just in this wedding box, wedding box, window box, I've used pistachio and the sunflower and just plain white buttercream. So three colours, pistachio, sunflower of the colour splash range. All you ladies know I'm a complete fan of the colour splash range. You know why I like it? Because you just take the top off, you've got this nice little drop of it and I can squeeze as many drops if I, as I want. So if I want it a really pale yellow, you know, one or two drops. If I want it really dark, a couple of more drops. And um, like I say, I love these, they're fantastic. Yeah. So then let's get going guys. So I've already pre-made some buttercream. And I'm going to show you how to make some more. So let's just go over here. Let me get a cloth. Is the music too loud? Can you hear the music everybody? Or can you not hear it? John and I couldn't decide. The general census of um, opinion was everybody would like the music on in the background. So if that's what you like, give me a big wave so that I know. Should I turn it up? Turn it up. Or do we like it, John? I think it's a bit, it's not very loud. It's not very loud. <laughs> John turned it down before. So we've got... No. So we've got Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons tonight, ladies. <laughs> so any of those have been to see Jersey Boys. So here we go. So this window box I'm going to do here. Okay, this is how exactly how I did that one there. Okay, all I've done is, and I'll just um, get a knife. Back in B&Q, &E, back in, uh, B &Q, and Hobbycraft, okay. So I found this lovely box in B&Q when I was looking around. Um, it's a, a bamboo and lacquer tray. So I thought that's absolutely perfect. And I've been and got this, I used to call it Oasis, but what's it called, John? What did it say? Can't remember. Something foam. Anyhow, <laughs> I bought big blocks of this. 3, 3D foam from Hobbycraft. 3D foam from Hobbycraft. What? Yeah, I think so. Oh, is it? <laughs> okay then. So anyway, I brought this in, uh, oh, uh, this, uh, well I'll call it Oasis, but you can find it in Hobbycraft. And all I've done, it only comes to this size, so I've had to cut it to make sure, so I've cut off the side there to make sure that it fits Music's in the box. Too loud, right? Music's too loud now. Right. <laughs> you know what we'll get, what we'll get. So I've cut it, obviously the foam doesn't come for the whole, whole, whole um, box and this one I've just had to cut off a bit shorter and then because it's square I've actually had to shave it so you'll see that I've shaved it on the corners, it's so easy to shave, yeah, and then I've actually just shaved the edges off as well just to give it a bit of shape and then I've fitted that in my box, nice. Yeah, and then the tissue paper I'm going to use, I'm going to do, because I've done their greens and yellows over there, I'm going to do pinks, lilacs, and yellow for this box. So all I'm going to do now is take these out. And uh, girls, I've had to learn the hard way, having never done one of these before. So, what I'm gonna do is ruffle it around. Chuck it all in. And sometimes it looks a little bit long. And then I'm going to squash my oasis in as a, an old fashioned girl, that's what I'm going to call it. Yeah. Just do that, I'm going to take that back out again. Get rid of that again. I lost all my pink and yellow. I'm just going to do a little bit, shut it down here. Just keep pushing it down in places. 
fact, you know what, we might just have to pin some over. That box there, I could actually, and we'll work around it in a minute. Before we get there, don't worry. I'm sure some of you will all come up with some clever ideas as well. Anyway, but that's going to do for our box for the moment, okay? And then we are going to make our buttercream. I'm going to tell you about this afterwards. So buttercream, lots of you are new viewers as well. So I've already started building up some buttercream and some samples already, but I just want to show you this. And if John can just pop around here a moment. So as much as I hate to have this mixer going on, I'll only put it on if we're desperate. I've got in the butter tonight, okay? So I've put in 500 grams of unsalted butter. You can use slightly salted if you want to. Please don't use margarine. It doesn't work for nifty nozzles. They, they don't hold. And you'll see in here, I've given this a really good beating. So look how lovely and soft it is, yeah? So a really nice beating. Then I've weighed out a kilo of icing sugar. Now, as you know, I only use the sugar and crumbs flavored icing sugar. And I've brought home a bulk bag. I don't know whether you ladies know that we do bulk bags of icing sugar. It's actually cheaper. So any of you who are really into it, we sell them on our website. We sell them the two and a half kilo and the five kilo. This one's a five kilo one. And, um, you actually save money for those, so they're actually really good value as well. So I'd certainly have a look at those, the big bulk bags. And obviously, if you want to make it go a little bit further, as you know, you can dilute. So I am chopping in. How do you get your butter white? How did I get it white? Well, the, the way to get it white is beat the living daylights out of it, which is why I just wanted to show it you. And the other thing is buy cheap value butter because they don't put as much color in it as the normal butter. So, um, and all I've done is I've just really give it a good beat for about three or four minutes till it was really nice and soft. Now, I have had problems here today in the kitchen because as much as it's been a nice warmish day, my kitchen is really cold. Yesterday I did a class in here and um, the kitchen was really lovely and warm. So uh, here we go. So John's gone wandering, which is great. So I'm sure you... what colours were you using? Ah, right. Would well, it be nice if you told me, John? <laughs> As you know, it's, as John says, it's on a need to know basis. So I have done that. So I've chopped in the um, icing sugar and I'm just going to put in two big spoonfuls of condensed milk. Now, on really warm days and your butter's really soft, you don't need to add condensed milk. Don't need to add anything because the butter will be soft enough. But today, because this kitchen is cold, I'm adding the condensed milk. And the condensed milk gives it a nice creamy texture. So two big spoonfuls of condensed milk just gone in. So I'm just gonna chop that in now. You can use normal icing sugar and liquid flavoring if you want. Won't taste as nice as our sugar and crumbs stuff. Who agrees? Who's out there sugar and crumbs fan? Yeah, we've got lots of positive comments about it. Lots of positive. Well, this is velvet vanilla and uh, it's absolutely to die for. In class yesterday, we used salted caramel, which is our top selling flavor. In fairness, it's not my particular favorite, but I will say the kitchen smelled fabulous. So we're all chopped in. Do we sell that spatula? Which spatula? Oh. This, this yellow one. We don't, but we are going to sell some new spatulas. I'm just waiting for them to come in. So, um, they're on order and they should be in in the next two weeks exactly like this and they're fantastic and they've got cupcakes on them and gingerbread men on them. So John's looking at me surprised because he doesn't know anything about it but I don't like to tell him what we're ordering. <laughs> Just need him to pay the bill and let's get it in. So that as soon as they come in ladies I will let you know. Yeah. Right so there's our butter and our icing sugar so I'm going to stick it on here. Now, as you know, a KitchenAid, they don't really give you a great cover for covering. And uh, they give you a plastic cover, which is a complete waste of time. So I use the old faithful tea towel. So we're just going to give this a blast. 
So um, it's going to take me a couple of minutes to get this in. So I'll just let John show you what colour we're going to use today. So um, the colour we're going to use uh, now to go with the pinks and lilacs, we're going to use the pink and I forgot we're going to use the violet as well. I thought I'd take it out before. So we're going to use these two colours for yellow, green and white. So just give me a minute. I'm sorry about the racket. So I'm really chuffed while this is blending. I have to tell you, I can't tell you how chuffed I am. Even John walked in tonight and went, oh God, that's amazing. And I do think it's something really nice and different for your table. So even though it is going down there. <laughs> Maybe you might want to walk down this track and have a look. Right, okay, John, can I just have you back here? Can I put my camera in? So, ladies. So you can see now, I'm not quite sure how many minutes that's been on, but the secret to really nice buttercream is whip the living daylights out of the butter. And I was talking to the ladies in class yesterday when we were at school, and uh, I'm sure the teachers did this because they wanted to punish us, and that was make buttercream by hand. And if any of you remember making buttercream by hand, oh my God, it was one of the things you would want to do often. scrape down so see how lovely and white it is and that's only because I have beat the butter first so I did speak uh, one of the other ladies in class was said that she puts all the butter in then the icing sugar she didn't realize to do it separate but um, it gives you a really good opportunity to whip that color out so let's take this off there you go and you'll see what a really nice, soft consistency is. People always want to know what the consistency is. Is it got to be firm? If you have to squeeze your bag with real pressure, then it's too hard. You should over squeeze and it come out nice and soft. So this is the consistency. I am going to give it another beat after, but I just want to stop the racket for the moment. So we'll clean that off over there and I'll give it another beat if I need any more. So that's the uh, buttercream done. Let's get rid of these. And then let's get on to making some colours. So this uh, bouquet, this uh, window box here, much smaller, let me get rid of all this rubbish as well. This is the thing when you do it live. John can't really help because he's got to hold the uh, the iPad and I have to run around and do everything so there's no assistance um, so you just have to work with me. Anyway I am a lot more organised today so we've got yellow in here and let's see how in the last half an hour that's really stiffened up really stiffened up it's a little bit too stiff so I'm gonna have to give that a really good mix or I might put it in the microwave for five seconds to soften it. That's how cold this kitchen is tonight. So uh, let's see if I can loosen it up. And I think the same with my green. Yeah, my green's too stiff. You can see how it's breaking. See when it's breaking like that, it's too stiff. So I've really got to whip it back in again. And yet I don't feel cold. Let's do that. Anyhow, we're going to do a pink and we're going to have a white. So I'm just going to put a drop of this pink here. So I've just put that much in because I've got quite a big bowl of colouring in here. And uh, you're going to have to bear with me while I colour this. Um, I wanted you to see it get coloured in and that's why 
I um, didn't pre-mix it. So that's just a nice big, see how lovely and soft this is? This is perfect. So let's get all this in. going to do a nice light pink and then in a minute I'm going to darken it up once I've done some flowers with it. So I am going to make quite a few flowers and you're going to have to watch me do every one but the good thing is it's repeat which means you get to see it several times on how I've done it. So, so that's the nice pink colour. That's what we're having there. I do keep running away, but I do keep running away to wash my hands because it gets all over my hands. And then I'm going to use the violet. I'll put a drop of that in. I don't really like the dark the violet too dark. I like it quite light. I know some people like it really very dark. So it's down to your own personal preference. How many cupcakes can you cover with a 500 gram bag of icing sugar? Oh, right. I, I always say you should make a kilo. When you're using nifty nozzles, make a kilo of buttercream, okay? And um, if you're using the sugar and crumbs flavoured icing sugar, I do realise that you might think it's a, a bit expensive to use for, um, a kilo of flavoured icing sugar so grab your bag of that flavoured icing sugar and um, use 500 grams of plain icing sugar as well to give you a more lighter taste a hint of flavour in fairness you're going to put a lot of, lot of uh, flowers on these cakes so the flavour will come through quite nicely so uh, let's just see whether this lilac's going to be enough the thing with lilac you sort of get a grey and then you get a nice lilac colour and then you get a deep purple, which is what I don't want. So I think I'll put a bit more in there. So always add less because you can always add more. You go and give it a really big squirt, you, can, uh, you can't change it then. And the one good thing with these colour splashes, when I did the rainbow cake the other week, it did show you the vibrancy, it stayed in the bake. You didn't lose any colours. So see how lovely and soft that is. Look how easy that is to play with. And that is the consistency you want. There you go. And then I think we're going to be ready to pipe. I'm going to keep the white as it is. I'm not going to make any colour with that. It's just going to stay white. Just dropped a bit there. So anyway, I'm ever so pleased that you guys are following me and you've been a really loyal following every single week, which has been fantastic. And uh, quite amazing, really. John and I are really chuffed because, you know, it's not something we've ever done before. And uh, it's really nice to see all you guys out there supporting us. So I'm just going to make this quick, these quick ones for you. I see these pop up. Now these are not nifty nozzles, okay? These are just marshmallows that I've got here. So I'm just going to make these quickies because I know some of you have the children help you. So uh, these are great for the children to make. So you've got your little mini marshmallows. And you are just going to cut them in half like that. I can feel my breathing, I'm out of breath. And uh, so we're just going to cut a few of these in half. I've already pre made some, but I know people see these on bouquets and they want to know how to make them, and they're so easy to make. So you can fill the centre up with hundreds and thousands if you want. Or you can just use a bit of the mini marshmallow. So I think I might have enough here now. 
And then for the centre, we're just going to cut it in half that way, not on the slant. Just going to cut it in half. I don't think I've quite got enough. So these are great ones for the kids to make and they're really effective. So let's just keep doing a few more. Right, I think we'll have enough there now. So for all you kiddie winks out there, my mum's practicing with her nifty nozzles, you lot can prepare these. So I'm just going to get a little bit of buttercream, just a nice base of buttercream, go right to the edge. And we'll make this part of our window box as well. I'm trying not to lean on the counter. I notice when I watch playback afterwards, I lean on the counter and I let all my belly out. So uh, John very kindly mentioned it to me tonight, as husbands do. So I'll try not to let my belly out. So girls, do, do shout out. Carol, breathe in. So all you do, so I cut it in half, okay? And I don't know where you can see it. Use the flat bit. So where I've cut that, let me just explain again. So let's just see. So where you've got your mini marshmallow, like that, and then I've cut it diagonally across, that gives you that effect. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to everybody? So this little bottom bit, the flat bit, not the pointy bit, is the bit that you're going to put on your cake. So we're just going to push these to the edge. It's so simple for the kids to make these. And not only that, people who haven't seen them before think they're great as well. So who knows how to do these? And Alison and Wendy, don't be shouting out because I know you two do. Let's keep going. And you just keep building up your layers. You don't have to have them really neat, it'll all come together. So as you know, girls, I just try to show you the simple way of doing things. I keep telling you every week, I'm no professional. You know, all I want you to do is maybe learn something from the tutorial that encourages you to think, you know what, I'm going to get my baking pans out or I'm going to go shopping and start buying them again. And in fairness, that as what's happened. I've had so many ladies message me and go, Carol, it's been great watching you because... Uh, it's given me the inspiration to go back and start playing again. And that's what baking's about. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's about enjoying yourself in the kitchen, a little bit of relaxation, and everybody being appreciative of what you've made afterwards. And as you go along, you'll either take it a little bit further and go to proper professional classes, or you'll just keep doing what I'm doing, mucking around, thinking of your own ideas. So I'm going to have to cut a few more of these. I haven't got enough. Oh, here we go. Just cut a few more. So, John, how's your arms doing? Are they hurting? I'm okay. You're okay, are you? I'll try and get a bit of communication out of John. You know what he's like. He's so busy watching and looking at everything, it doesn't really tell me what's going on. So, we're liking it so far. Did anybody not know how to do these? So do you remember I said cut the white one in half, don't cut it at the angle. And the reason for that is, he's just going to go in the middle there. Now how simple is that? So I'm sure I'm going to be seeing lots of you making them next week. So that's that. So let's get on with some nifty nozzles then. So I'm going to make, um, let's fill this one up. So this one here is the jasmine, yeah? You got it John? Yeah? yeah? So this is the jasmine, and I'm going to two-tone this one. Yeah? So I'm actually going to do it a lilac on the outside. So you get your bag, and I only use small bags. Pull it right down over your hand, and just fill round the centre. Right, not round the centre, round the edges like that. Yeah? And leave a nice big hole in the middle and then in the middle we're going to put a big blob of pink right in the middle because 
Yeah. So let's push that pink right down. The longest bit when you're using the nozzles is actually um, making the buttercream. When you make, not making the nozzles, when you get compiling all your nozzles together, is making the buttercream and doing the colours. And I will say to you ladies, I know some of you are addicted and you buy as many nozzles as you can, which is great, because if you like me, that's what I want to do as well. But um, when you are using the nozzles, use a select few each time and decide which colour you're going to go for. So as I did yellows and greens earlier, I'm going to do pinks and lilacs now. So I'm going to do this cozy, exactly the same. This is one of the big extra large nozzles. When people see this nozzle, look, they get a bit scared and they go, oh my God, that's good. That's massive. That won't fit on a cupcake. So hand up, John, what does that mean? Hold still. Hold still. <laughs> do you know if you were this side, it's so funny watching John because he does these little funny hand signals when I have to try and guess what he's uh, on about. So... That, this, this nozzle here is called Cozy, and I am going to do it pink on the outside. So exactly the same again, pink. And then I'm going to put yellow in the middle. Now my yellow is quite stiff, but I'm hoping that the pink will soften it down. Let's put yellow in the middle. So, a little splash of yellow in our cupcake. So there we go, down there. Then I'm going to use the 1M Wilton. We sell this as a set. We sell it individually and we sell it as a set of three nozzles and they're fantastic. They're a great investment and this is so easy to um, make little flowers. And I'm going to do this on pink and white. Posey. This one's Posey. called Posy. So that one's called Posy. And this one that we've got here is Jasmine. I think, is it Jasmine or Night Jasmine? I can't remember. But I'll be able to let you know later on. In fact, I'm sure it is Jasmine. So on the um, 1M, I am going to put in pink and lilac so I'm just gonna again round the sides as you can see I've not mixed in all my buttercream properly so I have got white in the bag as well and then I'm going to put lilac in the middle so I'll squash that lilac in the middle and we're going to do two types of uh, cupcakes with this one so that one's in there so this is the 1M. Laura's just joined to keep answering questions. Right. Hi, Laura. So anybody who knows uh, who doesn't know Laura, Laura is my daughter, and um, she helps me at all the shows. So many of you met her. And every week she joins us on Facebook Live, and she answers all the questions that John doesn't tell me about. So any of you who want to ask questions... <laughs> What was that hand signal you were there giving me there, John? So any of you who want to ask questions, get uh, carry on, and Laura will do her best to answer them. So I've got carnation nozzle here. Okay, and I'm going to use this one, and I'm just going to make this one in white. So let's do some nice white carnations. So it all takes a bit of time, ladies. Thank you for being patient. So we've got some nice white carnations there. And then what other nozzle have I got here? Oh yeah, this one's a lovely one, this one. It's called Sun Dancer. I've not used this one very often, but it is one of my favourites. I've got Sun Dancer and Sun Dancer Cup. So I am going to... I think I might get a bit clever with this one, a bit cocky. And shall we... Uh, triple tone it shall we so let's do pink on the outside so we're going to do pink on the outside so triple tone that's a new one for you who can do triple toning well it's exactly the same as double toning 
So you do a thin coat on the outside of your bag. So John, if you want to just come back while I tell these ladies what it is I'm doing. So you do a thin coat on the outside of your bag. And then we're going to do a thicker coat. So the second coat is going to be a lot thicker. So you still keep your opening. Let's keep going. So how are we liking it so far? Can you guys see how soft the buttercream is? Can you see where some of you are going wrong? Your buttercream is too hard. You need to be able to get it easily. Yeah. And then in the middle, I'm just going to use a spoon actually. I'm just going to use a spoon for the centre. So we're going to use white in the centre. So this is triple toning. And I'm sure if Wendy and Alison are here, they'll be so chuffed because uh, they like doing things like this. So we've nearly done. So there's the sun dancer. Yeah. Yep, great. Then we're going to get my um, petal tip. So where's my rose, what I've done? Oh, I've not done a rose. I've done a pink rose. So one of my pink rose. Let's get all the shoes up. Because you know how I like to show you how to do that lovely rose colour with the... Um, and then using the 104 Wilton. So just bear with me because it looks like I'm going to have to make some more buttercream. Oh. I'm just going to put that in there. So that's the rose. So I'm going to go in there. I'm not doing a bad job. Let me just uh, get some more buttercream out for this one. So this is for my 104 Wilton set and I'm just going to add a little bit of pink and I'm going to, I did show some of you last week I think, we're just going to, I'm going to actually two-tone the petal. Um, I've been showing my students how to do that in class, some of you will have seen it yesterday, so uh, on the pictures that I posted on our page. So we're going to do this in white. Gonna do. So this is the lovely pink colour. So you can see when I mix it how lovely and creamy it is. So that's how you, soft your buttercream needs to be. Do you have to use condensed milk? No, not at all. So if you don't want to have milk, you don't have to. Just use hot water. Don't use cold water. Use boiling hot water from the kettle if your um, kitchen is really cold. I've just got to keep washing my hands at the moment. Put cream all over. So, John, if I get this um, 104 Wilton up, so this is the 104 Wilton, and we have a thick end and a thin end, okay? So, I'm going to put a layer of white along there, and then I'm going to fill all that up with pink, okay? So, do you get that? So, I'm going to fill the bag pink on that side, which is the thick end and white on this side. And I'm just going to show you how to do that. That should be fun. So it's really good to see how many ladies are appreciating what I do on a Monday and you all feel that you're learning things. And it's lovely to see all your comments on our page during the week. So John, if you can just come up here. Okay. So this is a bit of a tricky one, ladies, okay? So we're gonna put white in the top. So we're gonna grab the white. You need a long spatula for this one. If you try doing it a small one, you won't get it down as far. So we're just going to put the white and spread it up to the top. So where the thin end of the nozzle is, that's where we're gonna go. And it doesn't matter if any goes on the bottom, but then I'm going to try and squash the pink 
on the bulbous end. So I hope that makes sense. You'll never get it neat, girls. But you know, it will come out lovely, this. I'm going to do a pink and white rose. So this is how your bag is going to look. So you've got white on the top. And it doesn't look as though I've got a lot of pink on the bottom. But never mind, it will work. This is a good thing about doing Facebook Live. I actually can't hide anything. So let me just... Let's just run it a bit. So see how the pink's just coming out now. So just run it until the colours are coming out. Yeah, see all that? Can I like it? Right, so. So I've just got a couple of leaf tips to do. And then I think we're gonna be ready for action. I'm gonna put this whole thing together. So my leaf nozzle is here and I'm going to use pink for my leaf nozzle as well so I know that'll surprise some of you so all this pink that is in here pink and white I'm just going to shove it in the pink nozzle I like you to be able to use your tips and get plenty of things out of it so if, if you've got a couple of leaf nozzles it's handy because I know some of you have bought the bundle deals and you've ended up with a couple of leaf nozzles and um, I've encouraged you to keep them and I'll tell you why because it's always good to have two colours going. So we've got pink in our leaf nozzle. I'm going to make a flower of that afterwards. So I've got a nice selection here and then I'm going to use my green so my green you can see is really really stiff and uh, I've got green from when I was using before and if you like I can't squeeze that now Okay, because it's gone really hard in the bag. So that'll have to go in the bin afterwards. So I'm just going to pop this in the microwave for five seconds just to loosen it up a minute. Yeah? Just give me five seconds in the microwave. And don't walk away because the microwave starts off at 30 seconds. Do only do a countdown for five. So five seconds. There we go. So five seconds, look at that. Don't do any more. We're going to have problems. Perfect. And I'm going to have to do the same with the lemon. Five seconds again. Don't be frightened of putting it in the microwave. So there you go. Nice and soft again. Just how we want it. So we're going to do my leaf nozzle. So we're going to put green on the outside. And um, I like two-toning my leaves as well. I think it looks really nice when it brings out a little bit of the colour of the flowers that you're using. And put it all together. So does anybody two-tone their leaves now after watching me? So John, are we having any responses yet? So the yellow is going to go in the middle and this is going to create a nice little vein. Let's stick that in there. So John, does anybody two-tone their leaves? Yep, we've had a few. We've got a few. <laughs> so I'm just Someone's squeezing this in. The large piping bags are back in. Right, I'm waiting for them to come back in. The large piping bags, or do you mean do you mean the bags of a hundred? Do they mean the bags of a hundred? I'm so. I'm just waiting for them to come in. It's not me who can't buy them. The supplier who I get them from hasn't got any in. He said that they're due in mid to the end of April. So I have got loads on reserve. 
I need to find another supply for piping bags really if they don't pull the finger out. Right, so we're all cleaned up, we're ready to go. So let me just uh, have a wipe down and then let's get piping. Cream here. Right, let's get ready to go, ladies. So we've done these. I've showed you how to do those. I prepared a couple earlier in white. So we've got three white ones, two pink ones. Now let's get some cupcakes. So I've done my cupcakes flat this week to go in this bouquet because I was a bit worried if they had too much of a dome on, would they? Um, would they fall off the basket? So um, I've just done them a bit flat. And um, thinking about it, I've used, um, I don't know whether you can see here, but on this basket, I've used these gorgeous rose foil cupcake cases that we do have in stock. And they're absolute beauties. In fact, there they are. So they're lovely, really nice show off. So we do sell them. I think they come in packs of 54. So I've got some lemon ones here, and if I'd known, if I thought on, I should have done some uh, some pink ones. So let's get some green on here. I don't know how many cupcakes we're going to need, but let's get going. Are you ready, Johnny, with us? So I'll try and breathe in. So as you know, with all the cupcakes, you have to put a little thin coat on. And the first one we're going to use is the pink leaves. Okay. So the pink leaves before, and this is just such an easy one and it's so easy for the kids to do. So we're going to, so you've got the three, five, two, and we've got the mouth open there. If you do it that way, you're going to get a strange looking leaf. So we're going to do it open and we're going to start here. I'm going to form a nice base and you stop and pull it off. Um, I'll just show you what people do with leaves. And if Lindsay Pearson is watching tonight, she'll start laughing because what happens with you guys when you do the leaf, you start like this and then you pull this and you get this type of action. So you do a nice base and then we do this. To do your leaf, and I'll do it sideways, you form a nice little base, then you form the bottom. Wait a minute, I've done that wrong myself. So it's pleasures of being live. So you do a nice base, you build up a body, and then you stop and you pull off. Don't keep squeezing. So I'm just going to do that again. So you form a nice base, build up and form a nice body, and as you get to the desired height, stop and pull off. Okay, and it'll give the little point itself. If you keep squeezing, all you're going to do is end up with this strange looking thing and people do this as well okay and these leaves I've showed you many times you can do them as big as you want but just remember build your base and then your body and at the top stop and pull off so let's go back to this cupcake so this is a good way to practice leaves as well so we're just going to go around we're going to form a nice big body, nice big body, doesn't matter if you do a few wonky ones, they'll all come together. Now you could leave it like that if you wanted to and do that in bright yellow and then put a load of nice hundreds and thousands in the middle and call it a sunflower, but we're going to keep going round. So in between the two leaves now, we're going to go around again. It's so fast. This. I'm just going to build it up. I don't know if there's a particular flower like this, but you know what it'll do. And then we're going to go around again. 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 Keep going round. Fill that third layer up and then we're going to get one of those marshmallows 
centers, cut it in the middle like that. And we're just going to stick him right in the middle there. Yeah. So there's another cupcake. Let's add that to our little collection over here. So that's been done with the leaf model. Then we are going to do, I'm going to have to do a couple of more, so we'll show you it again. So if John comes back, because I need a minimum of two of each cake. So I'm going to just show you again. So a nice little layer of buttercream all the way around. And get the leaf nozzle again. Try and do it a bit faster for you. Again, remember mouth open. So let's build it up. Doesn't matter if it's not neat. It'll all pull together and everybody, I think it's marvellous. And how clever you are. Back down the middle. And this one I'm only going to go around twice. Let me get the red marshmallow. I'll stick him in the middle, oops. Stop playing the game. So I'll stick him there. So we've got two of those. And then I'm going to use this nozzle here. And then I'm going to use the Sun Dancer cup. And I've actually picked one of the cupcakes that's got a bit of a dome on it. So I think the nozzles always look far better on the cupcakes when they've got a dome. And if you want to know how to get a dome, you just put your oven on a higher heat and cook them faster and then you get the dome, okay? So on this big nozzle here, we are going to use the sun dancer and we're gonna squeeze it on, up and off. How pretty is that? What do you think? We're loving it. So this is the sun dancer, so I'm just gonna go in again. So you come in onto the cake. So remember, ladies, don't be doing that, looking at the nozzle. It's watching the flower to come out because the flower won't pop out and attach itself to the cake. You must sit the nozzle on the cake, squeeze one centimetre, stop squeezing, and off. Now, I've made a boo-boo of that one. So let me just... Uh, that's me trying to do it too slow for you. So all you have to do is knock it off, squeeze one centimetre and off. Squeeze one centimetre and off. Squeeze one centimetre and off. So I'm just going to do two of those. I'm going to fill it in with some little bits in a minute. So I see John's got the colours out there. Is that because somebody's asked what colours are we using tonight, John? Yeah. So we're using the Colour Splash range. As previously stated, there's, I've got no preference really to the Colour Splashes. Do I think any of them are better than others? No, I don't. I've used the Sugar Flare, the Wiltons. Um, I've used the Pro Gels. I like them all. The thing I like about these is, for anybody who's missed it, is I really like this top. It's easy for me to squeeze and I don't have to use cocktail sticks for the colours. Maybe all the other companies should think about it. So here we go. We are going, this is a flatter one. So onto the base, squeeze, form a base and off. Squeeze, form a base and off. Squeeze, form a base. A little bit there in that one. Squeeze, form a base and off. That's a bit flatter. So we're gonna finish those in a minute. We'll just get those started. And then we are going to Use the other nozzles. I actually don't know how many cakes we're going to need for this little um, tray here. But if John wants to go around, I don't know. John, can you count how many was on that other one there? So how many have we got on this cupcake? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 cupcakes on there. So hopefully we won't need as many for this one. So John, if you want to come back to me. And then this one we're going to use is Posy. 
And again, exactly the same principle. Onto the cake, squeeze one centimetre and off. Squeeze one centimetre and off. Squeeze one centimetre and off. That one's called Cozy. So let's get a few of them done. It's a really pretty one, I love this one. In fact, I love them all actually. Anyhow, so while I'm going through this, I'll just tell you how I'm doing. Um, with Amazon, we have managed to remove over Europe over 1,000 sellers, which is fantastic. I actually think it's roughly about 1,200 sellers. We've started on eBay and we've removed over 100. So on here again, one centimetre off. One centimetre off. Now, that my buttercream, do you remember the yellow was quite hard? And I said to you, hopefully the, the lemon will soften it up. Well, it hasn't done, so I'm just going to knock it into here. So I'll never panic with the nozzles. Just going to knock it into here. And do them again. Anyhow, we've um, started taking them everybody off eBay now. And we've done over 100. I think we're actually up to 200. Right, I've got problems with this one. And that just shows I really shouldn't have tried to be clever by using a harder buttercream. So, let's have a go again. And if we don't succeed this time, we're going to give it a miss. There we go. So, do you remember I said to you my yellow buttercream was really stiff? There we go. That's come out, just going to do a third one. So it looks like it might be behaving itself now. So even though I've put it in the microwave, it's still stiffened up. So let's get a third one done. So they're not finished yet. They all finish up when we actually put the leaves on. So let's just do this third one. Up, off, up, off, up, off. Doesn't it look lovely with the yellow and pink together? So it'll pull all these colours. If John looks at this basket, this basket we've done lilac, pink and yellow. So it's going to pull it all together. So let's see, we've used that nozzle. We've used that one. And I'm going to use the night jasmine now. Oh, actually, I don't know if it's night jasmine or jasmine. I'm confusing myself. Laura will be able to tell me in a minute. Sure, no. Has Caroline joined us tonight? I wasn't sure if Caroline's going to join us because she is on she holiday. Has. has she joined us? So, just recently. All right. Hi, Caroline. Hope you had a super holiday. Let me tell you, you've got loads to do when you come in tomorrow. So, uh, Caroline's here answering questions for you guys as well. So, is anybody asking any questions on that I need to answer? Well, I think most of them answered. Someone yeah. asked if you need to put the buttercream in the microwave once it's made up, but that was just because it was too hard. Yeah, oh, the only reason we did put the butter in the microwave is it's, um, I'd made a batch earlier tonight and it stiffened up, but no, you wouldn't normally need to. So this one is the jasmine, and we're going to squeeze all the same principle, one centimetre, one centimetre, stop squeezing, one centimetre, stop squeezing, one centimetre. I'm just going to pop one in the middle. And the pink is finally coming through now. Just do a few more of these. So I'm just going to try and do three of each cupcake because I don't actually know how much we need for this. As I said to you before, I've never done this window box before. I think Laura and Caroline are wondering where I've come up with this idea. So, uh, but I didn't want to, do, I can't do those um, bouquet boxes. Um, one centimetre up. Doesn't this look lovely, this lilac with a nice pink coming through? Put one there. Yeah. So I've got a little hole in my bag. Have you seen it there? So we've got one more to do. I'm going to pull all these together with some leaves. I'm going to do the rose in a minute. I know you all love seeing the rose done. So... I got a bit cocky yesterday in class and did a double rose on. So I'm going to try and do that today for you all. So again, one centimetre. Can John focus in there and see? Mm -hmm. 
And just let me just show you again on this mat what everybody does with the novels. So, just so I can show you. So, imagine this is your cupcake. This is the best way to show you. So, you put a thin layer of buttercream on, okay? Now, what everybody does do is, and yesterday there was a lady in class, if Dawn Taylor's with us, she'll recognise this. Ooh. Are you back with me? Okay, so um, a lot of people do this, they squeeze a fat base and they get this. That is wrong. You need to go onto the cupcake, okay? Squeeze, let it attach, up one centimetre, stop squeezing and pull off. Okay, I'll show you again. Onto the cake, let feel it attach, stop squeezing and pull off. Um, people do do this, or they do that, or they do that. And uh, if Dawn is watching tonight, she will recognise those frees because those were her favourite ones yesterday. But these are the correct ones. So let me put that there. So we've got three of those. We're getting ready now. And I'm going to finish all these up with some leaves and pretty them all up in a minute. So John is... Uh, people are asking what the other colours we've used tonight. So it's the colour splash range that we use. Um, as I say, I just prefer it and the colour stays really well when you are using it in your bakes as well. So I'm going to use the carnation now and I'm just going to do white carnations, okay? So I'm just going to put white carnations all the way over. Again. Yep, so even those are big nozzles, you can still get seven flowers on. So, so I'm just doing three of each cake. It's the same principle for every nozzle. So people say, oh, show me this one, show me that one. It, you know, it's exactly the same for each one. All you need to do is get a little bit inventive about your design. So we're just going to go on again, up, up. So we've got the colour splash in stock. Yeah. Sunflower. Sunflowers in stock. I think John was surprised. I ordered a hundred that came in stock today. It seems to be the top selling uh, colour, the colour, the yellow, the sunflower one. And um, let's carry on. I'm just going to do another carnation. And then I'm going to do the rose. So carnation, oops, I've done a fat base there. See, when you're not watching me on Facebook Live, the good thing is you see all the mistakes as well. So what do we think of Frankie Valley tonight? Can you hear him? Or is it too low? Oh, there you go. So when you do half a one, just knock it off. Don't ever panic. Just think, you know what, knock it off. So there we go. So we've, this is the flowers that we've got here and we're gonna finish these off. So we've got three night jasmine, we've got three jasmines. We've got three, uh, oh, I thought I had three sunflowers, have I not? No, I'll have to do another one. So we've got three posies. Three carnations. I've only got two of those there. Got three of those. And two of these. So I don't know how many cakes we've got at the moment. We'll put all leaves on in a minute. And then we are going to do this one. So anybody who likes to know how to do this one. So I'm going to use the 1M. I'm going to finish all these off with leaves in a minute. So we've now got the 1M. And this is a really easy nozzle to use. And I sell these as well. I sell them as a set of free nozzles. Okay, so the 1M. So you can start off in the center. Okay, so you go around the center. And, and you just keep going around and you get this lovely rose color, rose effect. Yep, so I'm gonna show you how to do that again. 
which John's watching. We're going to go into the centre. And we're going to go round. It doesn't seem to look lovely with the uh, pink and lilac. Finish it off again. I'm going to do three, so this is another one for you to see. So we're going to go round. Yeah. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of these little tatty bits in a minute. of these for doing these uh, little twisty ones. This is one that's great for the kids. So all you're going to do is squeeze, squeeze and twist, squeeze and twist, squeeze and twist, squeeze and twist, squeeze and twist. The kids can do those, which is great. So while you're getting to grips with your nifty nozzle, squeeze and twist, squeeze and twist, squeeze and twist. And then one in the middle. Just finished. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to do the rows. Let me get the cloth again. Put a cream all over my hands. So how are you doing with that iPad, John? John's always in agony, you know, every Monday night when he's all I'm doing, doing his fine. iPad. <laughs> you're doing fine, are you? <laughs> so are we all liking it so far, everybody? Are you all excited about putting this thing together? So I'm just going to do this rose nozzle flower. I'm going to two-tone this rose so here we go and I'm going to try and get two roses on for you so the rose I'm using tonight is a rose called Ruby I think it's Ruby I've got here yep it's called Ruby so it's got quite a lot of petals on Yep, so it's a ruby and it's the triple one. Right, and we're just going to put a um, squeeze, form a base. Yeah, then I'm going to get the Wilton 104 nozzle. And the Wilton 104, we want the bulbous bit at the bottom and the thin bit at the top. I coloured it, coloured it, pink at the bottom, white at the top. It's not the same all the way around, so don't panic, but the effect is going to be really nice. So how I do this, and I don't know whether John can see, I just do half a semicircle. See that lovely two-tone effect coming through? And then where that half semicircle is, we're going to go around again, and we're going to keep going round, and we're going to keep going round, and we're going to go round twice and build up this rose. Are you loving that? Does that look good? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Looks lovely in that pink. Then we're gonna lie it down here. So can you see how we go in? So you're gonna lie it down and you're gonna lift up and stretch across. So lie it down, lift up, stretch across. 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 Now we're going to come round to the last one. And the last one we're going to squeeze. We're going to lie it down. I'm going to bring it in on top of this one. So I've just got to squeeze down my bag again. What do we think of the colours of this? Are we liking it? So we're just going to squeeze that on the top of there. Then I'm going to put another rose on here. Yeah. Nearly came off that rose then. Are we all liking that? So, because I'm, I'm not going to be able to go all the way around with my semicircle, so I'm going to start there. I'm going to go around, I'm going to go around as far as I can. So, I've just got to squeeze it in. So, you just have to do your semicircles as and where you can to extend that rose. And then I'm going to lie it down and in. Lie it down and in. Lie it down and in. Oops, 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 oops. Not that in. Lie it down and in. This is a big cupcake. There you go, guys. So we've got two roses on the cupcake. Yeah. 
So I'm going to do that one again for you because I know you're all going to ask me. So these are better on the dome cake. So we just dome it up a little bit. And all you do with your cake, when you're making your mix, instead of make, baking them on 150, 160, whatever your oven is, crank it up a little bit more so that they cook faster and get that little volcano. I know it's not the correct way to bake, but for nifty nozzles, it's what we need. So let me just get a dish top again. again so we're going to do the rose nozzle so the rose itself is pink so onto the base squeeze form a base stop squeezing pull off yeah isn't that a pretty rose look at the detail on that and this one is called ruby and it's the one 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 so lots and lots of petals on there nice and tight so and where is my 104 Wilton gone here we go so here's my 104 Wilton I'm just gonna to have to fill it up Okay, sorry about this. So John will just give you a little tour around the kitchen while I fill my bag up again. So it's amazing how much buttercream that you use. So I've used a kilo for these cupcakes tonight. Um, a kilo and a little bit spare from what I had before. So that's 500 grams of butter. Uh, butter and a kilo of flavoured icing sugar. And as I say, you don't have to use the flavoured icing sugar, you can use normal, but um, I always think it looks better. I think it always tastes better with our stuff in it. So I'm ready again, John. So half a semicircle, girls, guys, everybody. So we're going half a semicircle. You see? And we're just going to keep. Doesn't have to be really neat. You know I'm not dead neat, so you don't need to be neat. Doesn't matter if you've got a shaky hand. You know what? Just get that rose on, and look how it's growing. Yeah? How fabulous is that? And then if you want to widen it out. You're just going to come up there and so many of you can do these now and I'm so pleased that you all watch on a Monday night and support me and um, you've all been absolutely amazing so there's rose number one do we like it I'm just going to do slight something slightly different with those people who can't do a rose so we're going to put our second rose here yeah now, if you're struggling and you feel that you can't get that second rose on, what you can do is, so you've got your bulbous spit at the bottom. So if you feel that you can't get your flowers on, so see what I'm gonna do now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shake it up and down. Yep, so I'm just gonna go all the way around, shake it up and down. I'm not going to say it is a peony, but we could class it as one, couldn't we? Nobody would really know. So just all you're doing, there's no skill to this at all. All you're doing is shaking the nozzle up and down. Do we like that? Yeah? Do you like that, John? Love it. <laughs> right. So now, girls, we've got, I think we've got enough flower cakes now. So let's uh, start adding some leaves on. So I've got pink leaves and I, I've got green leaves, green and yellow. So here's our leaf and let's hopefully hope that they haven't gone too cold. That's all I need. And you know what it has. All right, so girls, I'm just gonna rebag this because while I prepared this one earlier, while I prepared this one earlier, it's gone really cold in my bag. So I'm just gonna throw myself a little muzzle. I'm 
I don't actually know why it is so cold at the moment. Um, what have I done with my bags now? Can you see my bags now? Shoes in the wall before. Turn it on. What have I done with my bags now? Right, girls, anyone can spot my bags? My typing bags. I've got a big pile of them. They can't walk, can they? There's only me here. There they go, throw in the drawer. That's what happens when you're tidy up. <laughs> Same place with keys are. Pardon? Same place with keys are. Same place with keys are. I have to tell you girls, I've caused murder for me this weekend. I went and looked after my granddaughter on, um, sat on Saturday. And I drove my son's car. And then I've come home and I can't find my car keys. And I have sworn blind that they were in my granddaughter's baby bag. So my son's had the baby bag out. He's had the house upside down. Laura's had her house upside down. We've had ours. And we can't find them anywhere. And then today, I remember that I grabbed the high chair and put it in the back of my son's car. And what do you think I put in the back of the car? My car keys. Well, it's been fun. So I'm just going to squeeze this green in here. A bit hardened off on my leaf. So we've got these rose ones here. So you get this little untidy bit. And all we're going to do is we're going to pop a leaf on. So we're going to squeeze into it and we're going to form a nice leaf just to finish that off. Yeah, so the little untidy bit where you finish, we're just going to go in and squeeze a leaf. Yeah, let's do two. Sorry, John. Let's do another one. So we'll just get round and do all these leaves now. So I'm just going to do a combination of the pink leaves and green leaves. So let's get these all out of the way. So again, all you're going to do, squeeze in. You see, nice light colour. You can put some baby ones in there if you wanted to. Just make that look a bit different. So form your leaf nice and fat. So nice and fat. So you just squeeze in, form your body, stop squeezing, pull off. And that's how you get that nice point. So I'm gonna do some pink leaves on here. Let's my pink muzzle on. Right. So let's do these with some pink leaves. Let's make them a bit different. not done any berries today because I just thought we had enough bags out. I'm going to do a nice big pink leaf on here. Yeah. This is a big beauty of going to get this cake tomorrow. Have you got your eyes on this one Caroline? Laura's in. Laura's popping in with Holly. So uh, let's see. These in. I'll keep all these the same, these white ones, the pink leaves. A bit different. So jump can go round them all. I do them. So just do them a bit smaller on your cupcakes when you've got a lot of flowers in. On this, on this one here, I'm actually going to use the green. So we're going to go in and I'm going to do a nice big green combination one. And there we are. Yeah, it's nice to put one behind. Yeah, it's looking good. It's a big cake to hold. So just bear with me. Are you all liking it, girls? Are you all thinking of any ideas now? So now I've showed you this window box, how many of you got some other ideas that you'd like to create? 
I've got something else I'm going to show you. Laura's going to be with us on Facebook next week, Facebook Live. I know it's the bank holiday Monday, but it's actually going to be our last show for two weeks because I am going on a much needed holiday. As you all know, I work seven days a week. Um, I'm in the office and I'm always at home on the computer and um, I've got loads of products that I still haven't put on the website yet because I just haven't had time. So I've really got to get those on. I'm taking my computer away on holiday with me so I can do a lot of SEO optimization on the website and um, I will try and have a bit of a break. So it's gonna be our last show for two weeks. So we are gonna do the bank holiday Monday and Laura is going to come on and she's going to do the fudge. And um, hopefully she'll do it twice. She'll do the soft fudge for you and the tablet fudge. If anybody doesn't know what the tablet, tablet fudge is, it's, the, um, it's crumbly. So some people like it nice and soft and others like it crumbly. So we're gonna do both types of fudge. Let me just go in there, John. So I think we're about leafed up now and we can put this little window box together. So um, we'll go into my own house kitchen next week. Yeah, that's where we'll be because uh, Laura likes to cook on gas. So let's just get that there. Those are all the nozzles we've used. Have I got all the leaves on? Mm -hmm. I think I have, haven't I? So let's move this all out of the way. And let's start putting this thing together. So this is the fun bit, girls. I'm going to put this together. Now, as I say, I've never done this before until tonight when I did this one over here. So I'm going to use this box and um, the wrapper is just a little, the tissue is just a little bit too much so I'm just going to fold it over and have some layers come through like this. Yeah. Then we're going to get some cocktail sticks. So you saw how I put the box together. So any old box that you've got or go and treat yourself to a nice new one. So I'm just going to put this together here and then I'm going to stick two sticks in there just in there and cupcake number one is going to go on so so there's cupcake number one and I'll just push that one down and these cupcake cases here just a little bit harder yeah Oh, these don't pierce as well, do they? Oh, I've got a blunt stick. So the good thing when you see it on Facebook Live, girls, is... Now, oh, that's problem number one. When I use these foil ones, which I did on the other one, it just popped straight through and sat on. So I'm going to have great fun with these now. So it looks like I'm going to have to stick the stick in these. Oh, goodness me. These are real... Hard, toughy ones, these are. So, maybe practice your uh, how strong your cupcake cases are. I'm just going to push that one on there. Oh, it's not good, my nozzle's coming through. Let me just get a spatula. Never thought about how strong my cupcake cases could be. Stick that on there, that's that cloth. Let's get this one. Won't make this mistake again. So I'll stick it in there. I'll stick this one on the top. There we go. So it looks like foil is the way to go forward. It was nice and easy foil. Let's just uh, stick this in here. We just randomly push them in. Put ones in there. I'll grab this one. Push 
Yeah. It was so easy when I did the foil before because I could just stick them on there like that and it just pushed through ever so nicely. So, put one on there. Let's get some of these. These can go on here. So just sort of stick them at an angle. And then pop your... Are you with us, John? In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because it'd be higher. Let's stick that on there. Let's get this on here. for me to turn this around then. Right then. So here we go for this one now. So because this is a foil case, I didn't realise how, uh, must be a really good quality case I've used there. I think they're those Tala cupcake cases. So let's push this one in. And then uh, try and uh, having a scrap with a cupcake case. Right, John. So I'm having to push these in here, which wasn't wasn't quite expecting that tonight because I only use foil cupcake cases in the last window box tonight. So this has been a bit of a surprise, but it just shows you how it can all go wrong. Right, oh, oh, there's my sticks popping through. Let's just get these here. See if we can follow the two holes that I've already prepared. Let's see. Yeah, there yeah, that's it. Great. So that's done. And then uh, choose one of these. Let's get myself organised. Okay. So yeah, there's tough ones, these. Right, so I've put two holes in. I'm just going to stick them on there now and hope I can guide them in the two holes that I've made. He's laughing. Give you all something to laugh about every week, don't I? This is what happens when you try and wing it on the night. When you've never done it before. You have to learn the hard way. So, look how tough my cupcake cases are. Right, well, so what other flowers have I not got on here? Let's get this lovely big rose on here. Are you coping, John? Are your arms hurting you? So, any comments, feedback, John? No. John, he's, he's, are you talking to me? No questions. Well. No questions. <laughs> I just thought you'd gone to sleep for a minute there, look. I think I have. Ah, yeah, you're bored. So, girls, what are you thinking of it so far? Do you like it? So, John, what is everybody thinking so far? Are they uh, liking it? So, 
So I'm just going to push this one in. John, how are you liking it? Mm -hmm. Any positive feedback, love? Yeah, it's just going through now. Oh, we're just going through now. So you are with us then. Right, so I'm going to keep building them up, girls. Hang on a minute. So I should be able to get this one in. We're on there. This is a foil, so hopefully this is going to go in nicely over here. Let's go shot one in. Getting to the end. So I don't know how many cupcakes I've used on here so far. You're making up. So, girls, there's always a way around everything. So, even though my cases are really tough here, so I've just put that in there. I'll take the sticks back out and measure them in that hole. Put one in that hole. I've already popped my bag. cover that little leaf up there. I've just put a nice big thing printing. Don't panic girls. There we go. It's that nicely. So can get the last one on here now. So we've got spare cuppies. So I'm just going to stick that in there. So we've got on here now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 cupcakes. So let's move all these out of the way because we need to fill it in now. So John, we're coming to the end. Don't worry, love. There you go, our mate. So we're coming to the end. Let me find my paper that I had. There we go. So what I did then was folded up the paper. So this is the three colors that I've used in there. Folded it in half, in half, in half, in half, again. So I'm just going to cut it along here. Let's get these nice neat squares. Well, they're not actually that neat, but I'll do. Let's do a few of these. I'm going to use these as your infills. So I'll just hold on a moment. So I've just cut these up into little pounds of three. Cut these up. So have you enjoyed tonight's um, Facebook Live, ladies? Have you all learnt something? Who's going to go and run off and make one of these? My suggestion is use foil cupcake cases. Learn the hard way. <laughs> So uh, just got to cut a few of these. I could have prepared all this before, but then I can't show you. So uh, sorry, you're going to have to live with me through it. So anyhow, so we get these. And all I'm just going to do is squeeze that now. Squeeze all three together. I'm going to do a little twist. Yeah. I'm going to push a cupcake, uh, a cocktail stick right through the middle. Not that long because I just broke it. So I'll push that one right through the middle and then I am going to stick that in there. That's my little infill. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. So if John just watches again, I'm just going to just squeeze it together, put the cocktail stick in. If you are going to make these for events, 
do let people know if they have got children with them that there is cocktail sticks in them so that the kiddies don't poke themselves. I'll just do that again. And we're just going to fill in all up here. So it does take a couple of minutes, it doesn't take long. I'll oh, bet John's thinking it's a nightmare because his arms are dying. Right, why don't you sit down, John? Right. So let me just bring you a chair. Let me just bring John a chair a moment because his back is gone. There you go. There you go. Sit down. There you go. You've got to look after the old man, isn't it? <laughs> Second. So we're just going to fill up all these. So what do we think, girls? Are we liking it? What do they think, John? Do they like it? Has it been worth watching tonight? Have you learnt something different? Who's going to have a go at making one of these then? So don't bear in mind, I've made all this in an hour, so we're, oh, we're a bit longer than an hour. So there we go. And uh, what I am going to say now, girls, is I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to clean up, make myself a cup of tea, and I will be back in half an hour to answer any questions. So I do want to say thank you for joining me. And um, I will finish this off and I will got the photographer in tomorrow. So I will get him to take some pictures as well. And um, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to write instructions for it. I think you're just going to have to watch this feed again. So I will finish all this off. And uh, let me just grab the camera a moment. So uh, just hang on a second. Hang on. There we go. Right, so I'm going to finish there now, ladies. And let me just go through this with you one more time and I'll finish this off afterwards. So I just want to say a big thank you for joining me tonight. You with us, John? Okay, you can show. <laughs> nice of him to get me in. So I just want to say a big thank you for joining me tonight. I know it's been a really long session, but we have actually done a lot. We've made buttercream, we've two-toned, we've triple-toned. I've showed you different styles of using the nozzles and this is our window box cupcake uh, cupcake and that is uh, 19 cupcakes on there 20 on here and I've just got this little gizmo as well that I bought from the garden center and I am just going to stick him in the oasis there as well just to finish him off yeah so when you're looking around shopping and you're in any of those bargain shops or in the garden centre, think how can you use a couple of those little things. So thank you very much. And anybody who wants to join me in half an hour, um, I'll come and answer some questions for you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next week with Laura. Bye-bye.